drugs are already salivating. <laughs> My friends, can you guess where I am? So if you've just guessed right, kindly comment and like below. But if you didn't, kindly consider to subscribe. I am in the busy Nairobi city county. I'm trying to get and explore this place. Quite chaotic. So many people, I think this was not the best time to come and explore. But we'll have to try join me and uh, let's go yeah we will uh, cross there yeah so we've made it to this very beautiful garden called Jivanji as uh, you can see what man was supposed to encounter praise the Lord Jesus Christ what do you think Jesus about this garden or what the do you reckon reckon yeah. <laughs> it's just not very really well maintained but mm. it's not looking very man. clean because of mm -hmm. me and yeah. you that is the problem okay maybe we'll get other places which are quite good yeah mm. Yeah, so guys from the Jivanji Gardens, we've decided to come to this lane called Muindumbingu Street where I want to show Victoria where I school at the University of Nairobi. We'll be able to view from this obs small observation deck or rather I'll call it a, a flyover. Yeah, so guys, this is uh, Nairobi Safari Club, and then here is Moy Avenue. So it, it used to be called Government Road during the colonial period, but now it's about six lanes. It was named after our second uh, president. And then here is the University of Nairobi Towers, but the whole of it is Nairobi University main campus and then we have Chiromo in there so for those who may know I used to study in this university during my undergraduate but you know none of the campuses called Kabete campus so basically in the main campus we're able to get the administrative units but also they have so many colleges like almost eight of them but as for me, I was in the College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences. Yeah, so, have you ever been here before? Yeah, but I'm a kid. Like how many years? Not so long ago. Not so long ago. Yeah. Okay, not so long ago. Let's say five years. <laughs> no, that is too far. Okay, okay. So, let's get and explore other places. go this way so had you seen that much meat in your life before <laughs> yeah and i wish we so showed them so you see now we are talking about it but they can't relate because i've not seen it yeah i think i in here i was a bit shy yeah. but maybe next time guys i'll i'll show you but our mission is to get the observation deck that you can be able to see nairobi in a, a good place yeah is if i was bold and bankrupt i would have just say i've seen some uh, mosaic what do you think of this color 
the mosaic <laughs> but I don't think these are mosaic they are just some uh, some paintings so let's go I'll say this is one of the streets in Nairobi that I'm really confident to film in given that there are so many photographers in here also making content I think we should cross the road mm -hmm. Go this way. Mm -hmm. Go this way or this way. So, what's the name of this street, by the way? I don't know. Is it Tyler Salai Avenue? Mm -hmm. Victoria, I'm sure if you are to vote, which is your favorite street in Nairobi, this one would be your uh, one of the best. Why? In every shop there is a food store. No. <laughs> uh, I've seen chicken in. I've also seen uh, Big Square. I've also seen the Sultan Hotel in there. Yeah. So basically this should be your favorite one. No. Right? No, you're assuming wrong. <laughs> okay, which one then? Which one is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay. remember us going to Toronto? Oh yeah, <laughs> we should go back today. Uh -huh. And I don't know why they have the, a photo of the president. Let me show them. Uh, I think they're in the table, so. mm. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, it seems like it's one of the favorite hotels for presidents uh, within the CBD. Not for presidents, but it's just a nice uh -huh. uh, halal hotel. Mm -hmm. Uh, they sell very nice, delicious, spicy meals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once the former prime minister came here, mm -hmm. he was holding a mandamano, mm -hmm. and the mandamano was just next to this pronto restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it became even more famous oh, sure. because he also, I think, he ate something there. But no, typically, you not find a person just mm -hmm. getting in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I I agree because also me, I didn't know there is something like that before. Yeah, I think we just look at the Yeah, so guys, this is uh, KICC, and then uh, we have Supreme Court in there, and then on my background is City Hall. Yeah, I think this is one of the most peaceful streets that I know within the city, it's also a bit more safe. So if you are considering coming to Nairobi, these are some of the places that maybe you can consider to come. But our destination is the KICC. We want to go to the rooftop and get to see how Nairobi looks like at 30... Is 30 what? Upstairs? 30 floors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one, guys. Look at how it's beautiful. Yeah, so if you are one of my viewers from Lesotho, comment down below. I'll be coming very soon. So guys, this is it. I think we've uh, made it to our destination. But stick around because you have so many things in store for you. So let me get to show you around. So that is... Uh, Kenyatta International Conference Center and then on my background is Judiciary where the Supreme Court of Kenya sits and then now this is what we are coming for I want to test your history knowledge you've just seen the statue of a former president Jomo Kenyatta tell us something about Jomo Kenyatta he was the first president of Kenya. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? 
that's it. He was the first president of Kenya. <laughs> okay, when which year did he become the president of Kenya? 1963. 1963. Mm. No. It was in 1964 mm. that he became the president, mm. but in 1963 mm. was when he became the prime minister. Okay. So ideally, before a country becomes independent, mm -hmm. uh, a republic first, mm. they become they are given independence. Mm. So we became an independent in 1964, mm. and then in 1963, mm -hmm. then in 1964 we became a republic. Okay. Yeah, I don't know whether they'll allow people to go inside here, but let, let's just try. There are so many flags here, I don't know which functions is going on, but uh, I don't know what's the name of this. Uh, it looks like an uh, arboretum or something yeah. <laughs> or a botanical garden yeah. this is a giraffe <laughs> so one fun fact about giraffes is that when uh, if this kick uh, let's say you, by bad luck gets on you or lands on you mm. i don't think you'll survive yeah. even lions doesn't do, don't survive so like this is one of their defense me mechanism. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But the, I don't think this this is a color of giraffe. Yeah. So we can name this botanical garden YouTube. So these are the name of trees. Ficus natalensis Olesia africana. Yeah. Not bad, but I don't, don't think you are allowed. I don't see even a place that maybe you can sit. But let's get to see what's happening in here. Yeah, so I know one of actually your favorite car is Toyota VXL. Yes, so do you think we will prab? <laughs> do you think we will see one, yeah, or we can bet? No, we can we just. Mm. We will. Mm -hmm. This is a place where <laughs> very senior people have their offices in, uh -huh. even member of parliament. Mm -hmm. So we can spot several mm -hmm. in here. VXL. You know there are so many Prados, eh? Just Prados. No, there are so many, including that, that one. That's a Prado. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Prados are so many here. You can mm -hmm. spot several. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, I need to ask you which is the best way to teach Victoria how to understand about cars. That not every Toyota that looks like a, a Prado is a Prado. Yes, it's a Prado series or an LC series. But there are so many, you, you only want VXL. So I want us to look for a VXL. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it looks so amazing. Like that one. Yeah. So what's the inspiration behind this one? I don't know. Mm. It's just a Prado. Mm -hmm. yeah. people, other people will just give <laughs> the explanation, which maybe YouTube will demonetize me if I talk about that. But if you really want to DM me. So guys, I want to test whether my geography is quite good. I'm seeing some flags here. Let's see if I can be able to get at least five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think this one is uh, Germany. I don't know which one is that. I don't know which one is that. Uh -huh. And then the second one, I'm seeing uh, Brazil. Eh? Brazil and then Kenya. And then that is uh, the second last one is Angola. 
That officer is really smart. Mm. Yeah, not bad. And then East Africa, the first one there is the East Africa, then there is Somali. Yeah, not bad. So guys, this building, the KICC Kenyatta International Conference Center, was officially opened in the year 1971, September, by this guy on uh, my background. So currently it's rated as one of the biggest auditorium in East and Central Africa. So I, that's the reason why so many activities are being held in here. This is a V8. This is a TX VXL. Mm -hmm. I love this one is a X5 mm -hmm. BMW. Yeah, so that was the Supreme Court of Kenya. So basically, the highest court in Kenya is the Supreme Court. Taifa Road. Yeah. Could you tell them what's the meaning of Taifa? They are walking know. too fast. Yeah, because <laughs> this train might fall any minute, babe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, she's uh, she's smart, guys. So Taifa is a Swahili word to mean nation. Yeah. So basically, the most of the streets here within the the I'll say the capital city are named either by the former presidents of countries or maybe the former presidents of the country and basically some of the words that are unionized so this avenue is called Aga Khan Walk. so basically most of the uh, people here uh, you could be able to see those who are doing skating most of the kids would come here to practice skating so I hope we'll be able to get and see some of them. 
but during the weekends and during that's during the on sundays but during the week most of the time is access parking i'd mentioned you've seen nkuruma lane nkuruma i think was one of the founding fathers of uh, the nation of ghana yeah so also there is Haile Selassie Avenue the last emperor of Ethiopia and I hope we're going to see many but here we are going to a place where there are many people and very crowded
we've uh, come here to take some uh, supper or maybe a dinner because the time now I think is close to 5 let me check the time now is 5.13 uh, so basically I normally take my supper at around 4 so basically this is the right time and uh, it's been a while since I get to take uh, fish so today I decided that let me take some fish so let me get to show you the prices yeah so the hotel is called uh, apple green as uh, you can see so here are the prices yeah so for snacks you can have some samosas the pricing are quite fair and uh, the drinks and then you can have some uh, chicken the prices are in Kenya shillings yeah so this is the one we are looking for we are looking for some fish so there's fish fillet I think we're going to go with this the wet fry fish fillet served with any accompaniment this is 450 Kenya shillings that's close to 3 point something dollars yeah so that's it yeah. let's get to see and whether it looks good as it is yeah so the hotel is called uh, apple green as uh, you can see so here are the prices yeah so for snacks you can have some samosas uh, the pricing are quite fair and uh, the drinks and then you can have some uh, chicken the prices are in Kenya shillings yeah so this is the one we are looking for we are looking for some fish so there's fish fillet I think we're going to go with this the wet fry fish fillet served with any accompaniment this is 450 Kenya shillings that's close to 3 point something dollars yeah so that's it yeah let's get to see and whether it looks good as it is
but she already salivated. <laughs> Let me wait for mine then. For me, I'm having fish. This is tilapia, and then ugali and some uh, cabbages. It's a popular dish because yeah. it's for water. Yeah. So, guys, let me taste on your behalf. ketchup and fish and I want to taste how it, it will feel like is it considered?
Kaya ka nga yung play Yeah, exactly Mama, 
So if you like what you are seeing, subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, ciao guys. Bye.